All right, what's going on, guys? It's Alex, better known as Google Tricks on the internet, and here we are. 500k, the milestone. Half a million in the bag, everybody. And another 500, Jesus, half a million <laughs> to go. I guess 500k as well, but you know, I wanted to say it the other way and I messed it up already in the intro, and I'm not going to re record. May have already re recorded this multiple times, I'll just get it out of the way and admit the uh, fault in my stars, as it were. I recorded this with my laptop fans going haywire, and I don't know if I zoom in on them real close if you can hear them very well, but I tried to record this video previously with my iPhone audio, and instead my iPhone decided to pick up on every little digital audio pixel of fan noise that was in the background, so that was really nice, but I thought I would at least give you guys quality, as I say, speaking into my airplane flight attendant microphone sound and ass, but it's all right, everybody. We don't come here for quality. We come here for achievements, baby. Let's go. All right, so enough said. I was planning to quickly just go through what I have achieved thus far through my current games since I last made one of these videos, and then I'd maybe just go through some of my achievements that are rarer or just, you know, stuff that I've picked up and I'm like wow that's a game that I loved and I got an achievement that was also really rare slash I don't know impressive to say the least everybody so the last game oh I guess it's right there last game I fully achieved a thousand four in my last one or at least to get the level of 400k gamer score was bug snacks I don't remember <laughs> I've re-recorded this so many times and I still haven't checked up on if I completed bug snacks when I did for the 400k or if I only got like halfway through or an achievement or something but regardless uh, we'll just go from here and I'll just point out some games that I was like wow these were fun and I will try to Jesus my cat just like about dive bomb me there geez I thought he was about to jump me and steal all my money it's like bro this intro is so bad how about you just re-record the video no we won't do that we're going live and we're doing it in style so I'll stop talking. Bug Snacks was dope. Um, I also wanted to mention, I think I probably mentioned this in my prior video when I was going through True Achievements, but yes, this is my True Achievements link if you care to look at it forever or for whatever reason. It's there. Um, won't be changing anytime soon. And any of the green games you see here are full completions, obviously, and then any that are grayed out are either games that I've touched for a bit and only grabbed like a couple achievements for Microsoft reward points or I just touched it because it was on Game Pass and I was like yep that's cool so if you see anything that's basically 50 to 90 percent I probably played but was like yeah this game ain't it ain't it chief yeah just know that that's probably the case for that game so um, I've already lost my train of thought. Where where did Bug Snacks go? I, I <laughs> I've just been scrolling and I think I scrolled down too far. But yeah, Bug Snacks. Here we go. <laughs> Such a terrible ter Oh my god, Alex, speak with your words. Terrible intro. Anyway, the first game I'll talk about is Visage, a little horror game that I had to replay on PC. Sorry if I peeked my mic by the way. I'm my, my my bad, guys little horror game that I played, indie game, that I had to replay uh, to get this one achievement. As you'd see, the discrepancy here for a 2022 achievement and then a 2021 in October achievement. I had to go back and get this last achievement, but I played on PC and it was pretty fun. I didn't hate this game, but the fact that I had to replay it for another six hours made me want to tear my hairs out just for one little achievement that was bugged. And you basically, if you close the game and then reopen the game, you couldn't get the achievement anymore. And that's exactly what I did. And I fricked it up, everybody. I done frickety fricketed it. -did -did. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even had my monster tonight, everyone. It's 9 o'clock and I haven't had my monster and I'm already sounding like a goofy goober. It's great. Another game I'd like to talk about is Superland. Little quote-unquote Metroidvania first-person goofy goober game it looks pretty goofy if you just look at this little art and i'm sure if you look up gameplay of it it's probably not like the most standouty thing ever but it's actually quite good fun if you're just playing it for 
for funsies and especially for achievements, I had a good time with this game. They released a sequel on Game Pass too. A lot of the games I'll be going over, by the way, are Game Pass. I'll try to point them out. Visage was Game Pass, but it was uh, taken off when I was playing it, and it's taken off right now. So, Superland was also taken off, but I got the achievements for the stack on both console and Windows 10. So, it's a fun game. If you uh, ever find yourself playing it, it's definitely a good one, especially for achievements. Uh, and also, god dang it, I keep forgetting stuff, but... Uh, just to make matters even more confusing. The number you see over here is not the gamer square number. This is the gamer square number, the smaller number. This is the true achievements number, which is basically taking the data of people that have gotten all the achievements in games and then basing it off, basically calculating who, how many people have played something and how many have actually completed said achievement or 1,000 in this case. So that's where the ratio and the higher number comes from to make that simple but also confusing and throwing it at you a couple minutes into the video, everybody. Next we have Frog Detective. This was a PC game. Pretty fun. Um, on Game Pass, very short but pretty goofy little game that I played and uh, clearly a lot of other people have played, so that's cool. Uh, just a lot of stuff. Don't want to go too in depth. We have Among Us and Roblox that I finally completed. Pretty cool. Record of Lotus War. A little. This is an actual Metroidvania. Um, pretty fun. Made by the same people who made Toho Luna Nights. If you've ever heard of it. Pretty fun little game there. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, near Automata. I found out you could actually buy all the achievements in game with in-game currency. That's why I was holding on to it for so long. If you look here. I did it in January 2023, and the last achievement I had gotten prior was like in 2018. So a nice little five year difference there, but pretty goofy. It was nice to know that I could have literally just done that the whole time and I just didn't realize it, but yeah. Finally finished up Black Ops Cold War, got two of the, I'd argue, harder achievements in the game to get, at current day anyway. Fireteam Dirty Bomb is a playlist that is pretty much dead and very hard to queue into because you need like 30 players to even start a match, which doesn't exist in that playlist, unfortunately, because Cold War is kind of deadged, especially that playlist. And the Dead Ops Arcade achievement, probably the actual standout rare achievement on this game that I got and was very happy to get. So that was nice. Did that solo. They have a little playlist in the game that makes it easy to get, so it's not too, too bad anymore. Any anyways, Jesus. Uh, far Changing Tides, that's a nice one. Got taken off Game Pass. Zero Escape, the non-refiles. Non-re-games, rather. I was trying to think why I said files, but there's a different game that I was thinking of. Anyway, uh, made by the same people who make the Day on Brompa series. Um, pretty fun. Just a nice little escape room puzzle, point-and-click adventure-esque game. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Paradise Killer, a nice OST indie first person adventure. What other bells and whistles have a nice sounded? Collect a thon puzzle game. I think I said puzzle already. But yeah, it was fun. Got taken off Game Pass, so I wish it was still there. Because it I'd say this game and another game up here, Opus Echo of Star Song. Very poppin'. Poppin' OSTs, I'd say, and very fun little games. Opus in this case is a text. I want to say text-based adventure. It's not really text-based though. It's like it, how do, it visual novel, I guess, but like not really visual novel because it's still like an adventure, explore the solar system, but not like man, no man's sky stuff like that. But yeah, just a fun little game, and it has a very high true achievement score. So that means people probably just haven't really gotten to the nitty-gritty on that game, which is nice. On Game Pass still, if you ever want to play it too. Prime Opera, a game that took, what, three, five minutes? Oops. Go back, go back, go back. Shoot. Um, yeah, it took me five minutes to get... I bought it really cheap, not at $10. I bought it at, like, a buck. And it was a very nice and easy, quick game to get a thousand gamers for in. So if you're ever in the need for that, there's that. Did I pass Cruise Brothers, by the way? I think I saw it up here, unless it was... Yes. Uh, yeah, I did. Um, if this is another game that you can get a lot of bang for your buck in, you can get 6k gamer score just by playing it. I think it takes like maybe 10 hours, which if we're talking 6k 
for 10 hours, that's that's a darn good deal, I'd say. I feel like I passed something, but I don't think I did. Another game that I had a large time discrepancy between, as you can see on April 2023, I got this last achievement, these last three achievements even, for Goat Simulator, and the last time I had played it to get an achievement was in 2016, so a nice little, uh, <laughs> That's crazy. Seven year difference. Jesus. That's wild. I uh, got Persona 5 here on Game Pass at current. Probably will stay there for a while. Glad it came to Xbox finally. Very nice to play and I had a lot of fun with it. I People will overblow it I'd say as a JRPG but I think it's it's a fun it's a fun Jesus fun JRPG but I think it's not really like insanely stand out or anything like that but I had fun with it and I obviously call it a walkthrough guide because this game is brutal if you don't so yeah surprisingly though it's not like a turbo rare thing for true achievements I don't know if that's just because gamers be gaming or what but you know that's cool dang on Roomba 2 surprisingly higher than Persona 5 I think I passed uh, Elden Ring as well I'll go back there in a second because Persona 5 reminded me of Elden Ring and due to their lack of high true achievement scores. But Danganronpa, fun game series, I'd say. Danganronpa 2, I definitely liked a lot more than the first game, so that was nice to play, and that's actually the OST we're listening to in the background. I originally recorded this video with Future Funk in the background, but decided to actually listen to this instead because I didn't want to listen to Future Funk for the third time for 30 minutes again, everybody, so that's nice. Um... Pretty much this entire list up here is all like quick little achievement games, especially Cooking Sim right here. You can literally boot up a dev um, console command desk window in the game currently and you can literally just click on all the achievements for yourself, including the paid DLC ones everybody. So you can literally get 2k off of Game Pass just by booting up it, booting it up on PC and turning on the dev menu, which is hilarious. Uh, Elden Ring, don't get sidetracked, you dumb dumb. Yep, got Elden Ring done. Pretty easy. I'd say once you get like a build that's pretty OP in the game, down to size, or if you over level, which I didn't really do so much in this game, but having like a cold bleed build basically just melts a lot of bosses in the game that actually are susceptible to those two ailments, so that's a cool little thing. Um, or at least from recollection, anyway. Let's see. Pretty much everything else was just quick Game Pass stuff, I guess, except for Full Long, which is a Souls-like, and Mortal Shell, as you can tell from these two being quite high in TA. They were uh, very difficult Souls-likes. I'd say Full Long, it's hard to really call this game a Souls-like, because it's more a deflect game rather than a dodge iframe game, but... Wool Long, if you haven't played it or ha don't know about it, it's it's very Souls-esque, Neo-esque, made by the same people who made Neo, and it's, it's a fun one, for sure. Definitely try it if you don't have it and it's on Game Pass. Mortal Shell, game that's getting taken off Game Pass in the next six days, Friday, June uh, 16th, so that's date in this video, but yeah, I just recently got this, and oh boy. The last two achievements for this game are quite brutal, where you basically have to beat the entire game without taking a hit. You still get respawns and bonfires, but just the fact that you die in one hit to everything, especially in some of the boss fights, especially in the final boss fight, if you look up the Mortal Shell final boss no hit, whew, you probably won't feel the tension, but man, if you're playing it, you are just mm, 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 in pain, everybody. I wish I would have recorded that because it felt very glorious to finally get that done, but oh well. And then yeah, here's some just leftover stuff since I'm not quite at 500k gamer score anymore as you saw from the intro. I've been I've been gaming everybody as you can tell. Uh, Minecraft recently got some stuff and pretty much, well, let's see, Mortal Shell, Man Eater, and Serious Sam 4, very fun games by the way, are all getting taken off Game Pass, that's why I'm playing those right now. Same for Serious Sam 4, Windows 10 Edition, because I, I actually do like this game. It only took six hours to beat, so I plan to beat it on my PC as well and get that in the books. But yeah, that's pretty much that for 
that. So now we'll go over to some of the more rarer achievements that I have in my arsenal. Um, just to kind of point them out. I'd also say I'd like to point out some of the quote-unquote best games I have over here. I wouldn't really say these are <sighs> rare games per se. I mean, you see a lot of the... Basically, this number over here is the true achievement score, but it's also like for all of the gamer score the game has. So, it's unlike Human Fall Flat has a lot of gamer score, which is nice. But it's heavily weighted on true achievements as being just absurd in overall number. So, that's pretty much always been there, by the way. Sorry for picking the mic again there. I probably just yelled like a child, but... Yeah, that's why you see Human Fall Flat, Minecraft, etc. Grounded. These are all Game Pass games, by the way. Literally, my top five are Game Pass. Pretty much the same. Well, I mean, Human Fall Fight, you gotta work for this number right here, uh, for sure. But Minecraft, Grounded, you don't have to do it. Jack Dilly Squat for because there are easy ways to get all those achievements. But yeah, then we have Cruise Brothers, because obviously Cruise Brothers has that 6K, baby. Best game, definitely one of the better games to get. Even at full price, I'd say. It's, uh,. Pretty valuable and it goes on sale hella so you definitely get it for like three five bucks maybe can't exactly remember off the top of my head but that's that's a bargain for sure and then we have games I love like or not that I love that I feel like should be up on this list as being Opus Mortal Shell Multiverses we'll talk we'll pretty much touch on every game up here as we go through our list lawn mowing simulator I actually didn't complete this game and it was on my list that I kind of jumped past in my games as we were going through, but didn't get the full 1,000 because the final achievements that you need to do are doing basically trial-esque missions that are just so boring. This game is so boring. I, I couldn't stand doing this shit, so that's why I just didn't bother to get those final achievements, unfortunately, but honestly, I don't care because as I think the true achievement score speaks for itself compared to something like mortal shell i would rather play mortal shell than goofy owl on moments yeah oh my god I forget how much how much this is another really easy achievement game for you can get 4k out of and it's only five bucks this shit goes on sale hella I'd say that's another good one to pick up um um, 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 um. code vein love that up there uh good old among us we love among us Valkyria, the two Valkyria games, that's nice. Um, definitely feel like this one, Valkyria 4 should be higher than Revolution, but I think Revolution actually has a terrible, terrible in-game currency grind at the end, so that makes sense. Black Desert, that's an AFK game to get some gamer score in. It's probably only three though, three times multiplier. Uh, Visage, nice to see it up there, Greedfall game I got in a prior milestone definitely definitely deserving I'd say especially for the achievement that we'll see in this list on the left side here shortly but yeah these are some of my more recent achievements but those are the games that I thought I'd point out so let's look at some very rare achievements uh, I guess we can start with the highest true achievement numbers these ones I'd say take a lot of this with a grain of salt, because a lot of it can be kind of skewed towards recency bias, at least in the case of something like Grounded. Uh, this just recently got dropped, so of course it's high up there, I suppose, because not a lot of people have actually bothered to get it. But we have these two Terra achievements, which have pretty much been at the top of my high true achievement roster for whatever reason, I guess people just don't want to go around and do this. Basically all you have to do in this, it's a very end game -y achievement, so maybe that's why, but also you have to hunt down a very rare monster that can pretty much, what, five hit a solo player like me? So when I initially did this, I needed some help, which I thankfully got, and I guess that's why they're so rare, because it's a, frankly, a B-I-T-C-H to even get in the first place, everyone, so yeah. That's that. We have Opus up here, pretty nice. I'm surprised the Acquire All Items achievement is more rare than Visit All Locations, because I feel like in this game, it's kind of like a Fog of War-esque game where you basically have to go to a place in order to unlock other places. So I'm surprised that collecting all items, which are technically collecting all collectibles, I guess, in the game, is 
rarer than the location one because I, I from personal experience i feel like this one should be higher but hey yo everybody i also like up here that you see a lot of these attain all other achievements attain all achievements for dragon quest 11 there pretty nice i like when these big boy ones are up here probably because this number is so high that it makes you know that important uh, we have multiverses this was a another bitch to get <laughs> Quite frankly, I basically had to play on my Steam account as well as my Xbox account in order to farm this against bots. And you basically had to queue into and rematch a bunch of bots and walk off the stage for so long. It was brutal, everybody. Glad to see we have Mortal Shell up there. Honestly, should be higher. Maybe. We'll see one day. Uh, multiverses. Clicker Hero. Layers of Fear. Big showdown or whatever this game is this is basically just a party game but you have for this achievement you have to just walk a lot in the game so basically AMK uh, mortal shell again just cause four nice to see ya mortal shell planet Lana so a game that recently came out this achievement isn't too hard I think it's just recency bias again um, but yeah you basically have to beat the Two to three hour game I think it was without dying but if you die you can literally just dashboard which is very lovely uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dangon Ropa nice to see up there shame Dangon Ropa 2 didn't make it up here I think Dangon Ropa at least had a actually now I want to figure this out everybody as well I think Dangon Ropa 1 has a higher true achievement score than Dangon Ropa what the jump force what in god's name uh, Super Danganronpa 2. Yeah, Danganronpa 1 has a higher TA score. That's interesting. I say, because this game takes longer, right? To be? Yeah. That's interesting. It's interesting. This game takes 60 hours. Although, I guess it doesn't matter, because... Damn, dude. I beat Danganronpa 1 in 16 hours. <laughs> Took me more than double to beat it over here. Or, no. I can't do math, everybody. <laughs> or, wait. Yeah, I can't do math. I'm, dude, I'm losing my mind. That would be 32 hours every month, so yeah, it took me more than double to be dang on Ropa 2. That's interesting, but yet, it's not higher. Um, yeah, this game has a earn all achievements. It's interesting. Shame that's not up here. I don't know why it isn't, because I feel like it would be worthy of it in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, I think we've covered pretty much all my cool rare achievements, and I thought I'd maybe just also show the ratio side of things because I think this is more telling towards actual rarity at the cost of also showcasing a lot of bias, recency bias for stuff like these new Minecraft achievements that dropped like maybe three days ago I think and they're just weighted so high in terms of ratio so kind of unfair to see it like that but then we also have some of those opus achievements, a lot of opus achievements in fact. Uh, we have a good old lawn mowing simulator achievement up here, which this one is probably the rarest that I own, simply because this one is literally just an A mashing simulator for like, I don't remember if it was an hour straight, but you pretty much just have to cycle through the days in the game's campaign in order to get that, and it was just, ugh, barf in my mouth, everybody. Yeah, I think this kind of houses a lot of the same achievements that I showcased previously, so I don't really think there's much else to throw out there. Nice to see Code Vein again, like I mentioned. Um, it was in my... or was it in here? Maybe not. Yeah, it was. At least Code Vein Windows 10 edition for some reason is ranked high, but Code Vein I got twice, as you can see. I think this one's for my console version, which I guess is less rare for some reason. Don't really understand that at the end of the day, but... Nice to see that they're both highly ratioed, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah. If you haven't played Code Vein, by the way, highly recommend. It's not on Game Pass anymore, I don't think, but highly recommend it if you uh, are looking for a Souls game that is probably one of the closer games to Souls, but people just don't see it that way. Which is fair. It's anime, so. Unfortunate. I actually never noticed this when I last uh, showcased this, but... Here's another game that I haven't fully completed because it's truly a pain train to... 
or I guess this is the real time to beat here, but Monster Hunter World Rise, the most recent addition to the Monster Hunter franchise, I think. I believe so, yes. Uh, recently came to Xbox, and I decided to play it because it's on Game Pass, and oh boy, to get all the gamer score in this bet, or yeah, to get all the gamer score in this, you need to do some wild stuff like, oh, I don't know, hunt a thousand monsters? Where's that achievement at? Is it all the way at the bottom? Uh, oh yeah, you also have to do this shit. Fucking crown farming monsters, where you basically have to get monsters that are a RNG size in the game. I, I don't want to get into it. Look it up if you want, but oh my god. Where's the 1,000? A thousand? thousand monsters. There it is. Yep. You have to hunt the 1,000 monsters. I'm surprised this is weighted only at a 10 times multiplier. Or at least like a... What is that? That's not 13, is it? I don't know, but... Yeah, that's the achievement that basically told me, yep, I'm not getting that anytime soon, so... <laughs> that's nice. Anyway... I think with that we will wrap things up actually first let me go over to my milestone and I can leave it on this little graph to kind of showcase my achievement journey so as you can see I started off Xbox nine years ago yeah that's nine years ago uh, in 2014 little wee boy that only had I guess 2,500 gamer score to his name I don't think I quite had yeah I didn't have my I was yeah, I didn't have my Xbox until this point. Um, let me actually clarify, I guess, when I technically had my Xbox. Because I played... Uh, oh, God. Wait a second. Show all, show all, show all. Let me scroll to the bottom while we listen to Monomi's theme in the background real quick. But I, I guess it technically counted... Oh, wait. Huh? That's not right. Uh, where's Grand Theft Auto 4, my boy? Grand Theft Auto 4. Huh, I don't know why this is... Oh, I didn't see that. Am I stupid? Why is that so high up? That's interesting, but I played this game on PC. I wonder if it actually... I, I'm getting into stupid weeds at this point but uh does it say yeah it says game oh so that's what the gfwl stands for okay basically means it's on windows 10 that's good to know um not really but technically i think i got my xbox in would have been maybe around this time when i got this achievement i guess it's okay i'm making shit up everybody <laughs> Disregard whatever that tangent was about. We started back in 2014 and made it here, and we're at nine. Or er, well, that's true achievement score, isn't it? Where's my gamer score? Man? Where's my gamer score? Can I? Am I dumb? I must be dumb. I thought I could showcase it for my gamer score, not for my. Huh. Well, regardless, I'd say this graph is pretty uh, standard for how my achievement score stuff would go. Just maybe don't count it at 900k, because I'm only at half that number pretty much. So, Anyway, this is my road, essentially. Pretty much picked up in 2019 when I started becoming a college child, and I uh, haven't stopped since, so I'm glad that... That's been the journey thus far. It's been a pretty, I'd say, linear line, all things considered. It looks very linear from this. Obviously, you can see, like, dips here, here. I see a really big dip here, I'm surprised. But linearity, I'd say, I mean, right here, I'd say, at least in the last month or so, I've definitely, month's time, I've uh, probably brought up more of a bulge. <laughs> Lack of a better term than anything. A peak, everyone, not a not a trough. Sorry. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about literal nonsense, and we will stop with the video here, everybody. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hoping that uh, 
you by watching this can maybe pick up on some achievement games that I've played or you know just the fact that I love getting gamer score in Xbox's digitized pixelization world for literal pointless brownie points on the internet but I'm saying a bunch of flamboyant words so I think I'll genuinely stop talking and we will continue on with our lives everybody so thanks for watching thank you as always for tuning in and i will catch you in future installments of the milestone or other videos i make thanks for watching and bye bye